This is the owner. What's your name? I'm Jasper. 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 I'm from Denmark. Uh, Denmark? Uh -huh. Denmark. Really? Yeah. Cool. And this is the builder. Yeah. What's your Daiki? Yes. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Daiki. Nice and nice to meet you, Jasper. Nice to meet you. So this is your park. I will. This is your park, eh? Yes. You are 12 to 15 meters up in the air. Up in the trees actually. And he built it. Yeah. So uh safety is uh, tip top. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> So when did you start this company? We opened uh, this place uh, four and a half years ago. We started the construction about six years ago. Construction meaning uh, cleaning up the forest, cutting down some trees along the steep lines. Mm -hmm. And uh, these guys, they spent about two months doing the installation. Wow. Yeah. And how has business been since opening? In the beginning, very, very slow. Nobody knew about us. We are bad at marketing, actually. Now, uh, word by mouth is working. So, uh, as you can see today, uh, pretty many people are here. So, yes. we can't complain. And now, with the corona, we are outdoor. We have space. People understanding that they are coming. And how did you increase your awareness about this, this business? Asking our visitors to give us some good reviews. <laughs> Well, on, on the website itself? On the website, we are using TripAdvisor and of course a majority of our customers are Japanese so Facebook in Japanese speaks uh, and it's working for us. And why did you decide to open this type of business? Well, the two of us, we are old guys so we wanted to do something more fun for the rest of our work life so we decided to uh, do something together and uh, did some investigation and found out that it's probably a good, really good uh, job for the viewers. Where, where did you do your investigation to decide that? Well, uh, there are different talks in Japan similar to this. So we went to a few of them and looked at the guides and the talks and said, if they can do it, we can do it. I, I, I like that spirit. That's, <laughs> that's a wonderful spirit. So about how much did this cost though to actually well, set that, up this that business? Well, that's a top secret. <laughs> I, think I, can it's tell you, I can tell you, my... Uh, uh, pension savings is uh, now attached in the tree so uh, I'm hope, I hope that we get a lot of visitors from now on so I can go on pension in a few years time. <laughs> well hopefully this video will help. I hope so. I'm crossing my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime anybody comes to Japan I, I hope this video entices them to come here and support your business. We actually have a lot of repeaters which is a good sign uh, that people they like it. So. People come, the parents they don't have big expectations, they come for the sake of the kids. When they walk out of here they say, this was fantastic. Uh, I didn't have any expectations but I really um, have achieved something today. And that's something they can bring back home and uh, enjoy it later on. I like that very much and I, I hope to get that same experience as well. You will have it, so uh, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. Um, so what's for you, for you, what's your favorite part of having this as a business? Well, that is actually the communication with the, or the interaction with the customers. Because we have had no complaints in four and a half years. People, they are laughing, they are all saying we are coming back and bringing these and these friends with us next time. That is big joy. Uh, it's very much different from working in a traditional company. Uh, and we are outdoor, you know, we like exercising and we do a lot of that. So, uh, it's a dream job. So, were you into fitness before this? Well, I like running, the few of us do windsurfing. Uh, uh, bicycling and so on so well not extreme fitness but we like it exercising definitely so, so do you think that you'll actually have bicycling a part of this course in the future we have investigated but actually the terrain is not really fit for bicycling because there's a lot of uphill <laughs> so well, maybe uh, they can ride downhill <laughs> they can ride downhill but uh, there are, also, there are also a lot of trees. Mm. If they bump into the trees, it's not so good. So we have sort of given up the idea right now. Okay. Um, so, like, how many acres is this in total? It's uh, 
2.5. Wow. Uh, maybe this is top secret as well, but did you buy it or...? or no, we, we are renting. You are so renting? You need to be a farmer in order to buy it. And uh, we are not farmers, so we rent it. And uh, now the owners, they are happy. Because we are maintaining their forest. They are getting a little bit of rent instead of just paying tax and maintenance fees. So, so Everybody is happy in the area now. Do you think it was difficult to actually rent the property here? Well, it takes a little bit of effort to convince uh, the old grannies because the old farmers, you know, being the owners here. But uh, after we got uh, the first one convinced, uh, the rest of them is just followed. So how is your Japanese though? My Japanese is sort of okay. I've been in Japan for 28 years. 28 years? <laughs> so what were you doing before? Well, I have been selling wind turbine generators, worked for the Danish embassy, for the Danish Ministry of uh, Industry. Uh, been independent for some 10 years now, uh, so a little bit of everything. Also studied Japanese. Wow. Full time for 18 months. Wow. So Thank you for the interview. The area. Let's go. Yeah, let's go.